Okay, so when, when E is greater than U naught, that is when the energy of the particle is bigger, is, is larger than the potential, uh, the, the potential barrier height, um, then, uh, then you can get resonant tunneling, but in general you just get um, uh, transmission and reflection, okay, uh, at, a, at an arbitrary energy. <clears throat> And but what happens when the energy is less than the potential when the potential barrier height? Okay, so when E is less than U naught, okay, then if we had a classical, if we were thinking about a classical um, uh, situation, a classical particle, then uh, what we would expect is if the energy you can imagine a particle that uh, a ball rolling uh, or sliding along or some mass sliding along a frictionless surface that comes to a ramp that's frictionless as well. The ramp goes up, that means its gravitational potential energy is increasing as it goes up the ramp. And um, since it uh, is increasing its gravitational potential energy, it's losing kinetic energy. And um, if it does, if the initial kinetic energy is, is um, smaller than the, than the gravitational potential energy uh, uh, corresponding to the top of the ramp, then <clears throat> Then, the, then this particle is just going to slide back down the ramp and go back out the way it came. It's going to be reflected, okay, with a hundred percent probability. Okay, we can think of also this in terms of like a, a wall, um, that, uh, where particles just get reflected. In quantum mechanics, <coughs> because of the wave-like nature um, of of particles that are small enough to have quantum mechanical um, sort of effects, quantum particles. Uh, then we have to do the Schrodinger equation, and we and and um, in when e is less than u naught, then k two, as I said before, which is equal to two m times the square root of e minus u naught over h bar, becomes um, imaginary, and so we have uh, uh, i times some real number, okay, which we call alpha, okay. So alpha is equal to um, again, square root of 2m u naught minus e over h bar. It's only defined in this way when e is, when e is less than u naught. Okay. So then, so in region two, then our wave functions um, uh, look like this. So we have c e to the i times k2 x, but k2 is i alpha, and d e to the minus i times k2 x, but again k2 is i alpha. And so in the end, what we get is uh, the, the wave function is equal to c e to the minus alpha x plus d e to the alpha x. Again, alpha is real, and so this corresponds to an exponentially decaying and exponentially uh, increasing solution. Okay, so the superposition of an exponentially uh, decreasing and exponentially increasing solution. Now, I should say that the the co the, co the coefficient d is usually much smaller than c. Okay, um, not always, but but usually be, because it, it kind of in some sense corresponds to um, well it, it just usually is smaller it's a, it's a little bit complicated so um, and so usually we only have to consider the exponentially de decreasing solution but but for uh, but but for uh, generality and, and 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 for to be to be the most rigorous you have to include both both solutions in order to uh, to satisfy the continuity equations um, and and we, when we look at this, when we look at these exponential solutions and we compare them to the oscillatory solutions that we've been talking about before, what we what we see is that the um, is it the momentum right uh, k two or the wave number which cor which uh, which also which uh, remember the momentum is related to the um, uh, wave number p is equal to h bar k and so is it, so k two is imaginary okay and um, between in within the barrier between when x is between zero and l, and so uh, um, and so we don't have a real momentum inside the barrier. Okay, this also sort of indic you know implies that the kinetic energy is negative because if if p is uh, is imaginary, then p squared is going to have a negative in there. Okay, and so there's no real momentum inside the barrier. Okay, and so the e to the minus alpha x and e to the alpha x solutions here. They do not correspond to left and right moving particles. Okay, they're corresponding to a. Uh, if you square them, you get the probability density or the um, particle density per unit length. Um, but but you have to have both these solutions to ensure continuity, as I said.